Hey, Ron James here with the Ron James Dollhouse, the Garrison Mansion I live up there. I'm going to show a lot of people how to make jigs for a 10 inch table saw. That mine's a craftsman here. And I make these little jigs just like this so I can cut within one hundredth of an inch. These little jigs work fine. If you get up here close to look at it, you'll see I just got some ready rod nuts and washers, both ends, and I adjust them right here with a 7 16 wrench. You can adjust this board in or out very finely. I got one in the slot and they fit tight. Sits right in that slot. I usually pump them in there with a big maul and they fit tight. They won't move. I have to have a screwdriver to pop them out. We're going to make one here pretty quick. This is one for one half inch or zero four hundreds. I got other ones laying around here. We're going to make one for four inches. First thing that I do with a table saw this insert here. This is the original insert. Let's see, she goes that way. But this slot is so wide, all my little woodwork goes down the slot. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to take this out. And this is a 1 8 inch thick piece of plywood. You can get it at the hobby store. Hobby store. You get a piece of that, you put this on top of it. Draw the line around it. All the way around it. Cut it out with a bandsaw, jigsaw, whatever you got. And then sand it to fit right in there. Drill this hole and screw it in. That leaves almost nothing on each side of the blade. You can see my blade sitting here. Ah, the blade before we get any further. I've had all kind of blades. I've tried everything. From finished blades for super smooth cuts and all this. They can brag about. I only get one blade that gives a smooth cut. This is a used one. It's a DeWalt and it's called a hollow ground planer. And that's what it looks like. This blade actually gets thinner as it goes down. The teeth don't have no set in them. They're straight up. The reason it don't drag is because it gets thinner. Right to here there's a lump right there all the way around. And these blades work great hollow ground planer for miniature work that's what you need you can order them at Sears you can't go in the store and get them but you can order them through the catalog online this is poplar it's what I use for making these jigs uh, it's called one by three it's not one inch if you're a carpenter you know that it's only almost three quarters of an inch but I plane a little bit off one side and I get it to fit in that slot. Don't know where my big jumper went. It's tight fit. That's why I gotta use a screwdriver to get it out. But you get one to fit in there, you take another one, put right beside it. I've got it back up here, Derek. You need a couple clamps. We're going to clamp this thing together. And then we're going to take it out. And we're going to drill a couple holes in it. There's one. There's two. Get my screwdriver to get it out again because she fits so tight. There we go. This is the side we're going to drill from. I need to pick up my drill here. Get my drill, get my bit. I got a couple bits. There's my drill going to unplug there. I got a real big bit. We ain't going to use that quite yet. Quarter inch bit. And we're going to drill about one inch up right through both boards. About 
one inch up again. <laughs> then we get a three quarter inch bit. We got a big old one here. She's a little warped, but we're just going to drill about a quarter inch into this top board. Just down about a quarter inch. This one's being a met pain. There we go. That was rough. <laughs> Here's the ready rod. I cut them about six inches long. Here's a bunch of washers and nuts to fit it. We're going to unclamp it. <coughs> Get the dust out of the guide hole and put this thing back in there again. I run a nut right to the end of the rod here, and a washer. Both ends, run them through, add another washer to this opposite side. Then another nut. If I can get these to start, they're a little tricky, because I've cut this rod off. We're going to screw that all the way down. Oh, my other one fell out. Bummer. Run that one all the way down. Get your other one put it back in again. Same thing on this end. The nut is right at the end of the ready rod. Throw a washer on there. Throw the nut on this end. Oops. We'll get that nut again. I'm trying to go too fast here. Screw that all the way down. And these are 7 sixteenths, so you grab your 7 sixteenths inch wrench. Put that critter in there. We got some lumps in this side, but that don't matter. It'll crush in there. What we're going to do is crush into this recess that we just drilled out a washer and a nut. It's got to be below the face of this board. That's why I drilled the hole in there. She's crunching right in there. Just get that critter down below the surface face of that board so when you're working your wood it doesn't hit on it. That one's done. Now we start another nut. Tighten down both ends. I ain't doing it right now. We're just trying to get this video shot here. I can start this nut again. I know it goes on because I already had one on there. Right. Let me get my wrench. Maybe that'll help us here. There we go. We got another one started on there. Run that down about yay far. Put a washer on it. Do the same thing on this one again. Washer on that. This is going to end up being our guide board. I don't know if I can get that in there with the blade there. I can't. 
So you got to drop the blade down so I can slide that over there. That felt a little squeaky. <laughs> drop that blade right down. Push this critter right in there. Another washer on each one. Two more nuts. This one is being a little pain to get nuts on here. Here we go. It's easier that time. Now this end's giving me trouble. There it goes. We're getting close to the blade here. I want this one to be four inches, so that'll be just over a quarter inch. So we ain't close enough yet. We're getting closer. We're getting close to a quarter inch there. And we tighten these all up. When you get this thing all together, you got a perfectly square edge here, and you can adjust it by moving the nuts on this side. You make it come out or go in very small amounts. And that's how I make jigs for this 10 inch table saw and I can cut that wood. I can cut wood you can see through. It's amazing. So that's how you make a jig for a 10 inch table saw for cutting scale dowhouse lumber.